So we're used to people leaving, you know, New York for Florida, but people leaving Florida for New York? What is this? New York City Mayor Eric Adams launching a new billboard campaign to try and lure a certain group of Floridians up to New York City. What is going on? Will this work? We'll talk about it all in great detail, guys. First, though, if you could please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, wear the glasses because I'm blind. Well, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, I know it seems weird, right? You don't typically see it the other way around, but that's what's taking place here. New York City is trying to do their part to combat the new Florida legislation that bans explicit rainbow talk in grades K through third grade uh, with other restrictions, even on grades after. Of course, they've dubbed it the Don't Say G Bill, and uh, that's not what it is at all. But of course, the media twists these things and they just create their own narrative and they run with it. So Eric Adams, which, you know, is the replacement for Bill de Blasio. You guys remember Bill, Bill de Blasio, right? Yeah. People thought it was going to be so much better with the Blasio gone. And I've said this before. Look, when you replace one Democrat with another, oftentimes either just as bad or even worse. Look no further than Andrew Cuomo's replacement, New York Governor Kathy Hochul. There you go. So Adam's now releasing this video and talking about this new billboard campaign that's going to be happening uh, in five specific Florida cities. Now, this campaign is going to run throughout the end of May, and the message here, wow, uh, and the Florida cities impacted. I, I'm going to get to that in a second, guys. First, let me mention, if you are able to make a generous donation here to my ministry to help support, I would greatly appreciate that being demonetized on YT. They don't support anything I do, but if you guys enjoy my daily content here talking about end time Bible prophecy headlines and you are able to help support, you can do that on PayPal, the link down below, or you can sign up on Patreon. When you do that, you get access to my bonus content, including the links of the YT videos. That is so you get alerted every time the new content comes out because you are not going to be notified every time the new stuff comes out. It just doesn't happen anymore. You guys know this. Plus, when you're there, you can leave your comments 100% censorship free behind the paywall. No worry about any blocking and removing of what you guys are saying over on to Patreon. Plus, you can also send direct messages to me. Then don't forget, I'm also on Rumble. Make sure you give me a sub there. These videos go up on that platform too. Plus, it's my backup in case I get the boot from YT. You might want to just start getting used to Rumble because the way things are going now, it may not be much longer for me here on the YT platform. So there you go. All the links down below. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity greatly appreciated. So the five cities here, we're going to have and I know I got a lot of you that watch me from Florida. So here you go. Get ready for your city. Fort Lauderdale, Jacksonville, Orlando, Tampa, and West Palm Beach. These are the five cities that the billboard is going to be a digital billboard campaign. And on it here is going to be uh, encouraging people to, and this was funny, come to a city where you can say what you want. Where, <laughs> I mean, you just take that alone right there and say what you want in New York City. I don't think so. You know, we said, come to a city where we're, we show our true colors, okay? And we show them loud and proud where they're still allowed. <laughs> Unlike in Florida, where, you know, their colors we know are against people who are of the rainbow community. So if you are somebody who has been affected by this horrible bill, please come. Please come to Free Speech NYC. You can say what you want in the classroom, corrupt the children, however you see fit, spread whatever it is that you want to say. But wait a minute, let me, let me just back this up for a second. If I go to New York City, aren't the chances of the schools closing again, like pretty high? I mean, weren't schools in NYC shut down for like, what, two years, basically, right? I mean, then they, they were like one of the last states to like reopen for schools. Oh, wait. Come to NYC, so what? You can put the kids back in the little uh, in the little diapers again on their face? Oh, okay. Come to NYC, uh, where unlike Florida, you know, where there's no income tax, nothing like that, you know, nice beachy areas. Uh, come to NYC, where our crime rate is through the roof right now. Okay, yeah, that's, a, that's another great reason to come to NYC. Oh, what, what about uh, if you guys reinstitute the, uh, the Jibbity Jab Jab Pass to get into businesses again, like you did? Oh, I know you dropped that, but it doesn't mean you're not just going to reimpose that again. Oh, but that's not mentioned in the billboard campaign 
by Mayor Eric Adams either. I could go on and on about all the reasons that he did not include why you should come to New York City. No, the only reason is come to NYC where you can be feel free to be a rainbow individual and uh, say what you want in our classrooms, as long as we keep our doors open, because, you know, we could shut them down again. But don't worry, we'll get them on online learning, or we'll make them take the jibbity jab jab, then get them back into the classroom, and then still put the rainbow stuff on them after that. Okay. <laughs> I, I, this is insanity. But look, after thinking about it, you know what? I support this. You know what? Do your billboard campaign. If that gets these crazy teachers out of Florida that were already, and I don't even live in Florida, but I got a lot of you that watch me that do, so I'm doing this for you, you people, you good people in Florida, you know who you are, who watch me, and I talk with you guys all the time. I'm doing this for you. I hope that this does achieve the goals that that uh, Mr. Adams wants. Yeah, get these crazy teachers out of Florida. They've already been raging anyway since the bill first came out. Disney, all of them else. You just put, just put Disney out there in New York too while you're at it. Take them too. Get them all out. Go go to New York City. Be free to say what you want, unless it, it, it happens to be anything associated with your rights. Then you can't. You know, don't don't go into the restaurants there in New York City and demand uh, that you uh, that you actually be seated for indoor dining and not have to show a jibbity jab jab pass. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, look, if that takes care of this issue in Florida, gets these people out of there and, and allows Florida to be even more free to be even more pro-family, to be even more conservative, that protects the classrooms even more, then I'm all for it. Good. We'll see if this in fact works. But at the same time, for even people who are G, who are in the rainbow community, do they necessarily themselves want to go to New York City and be a part of all that nonsense that I just mentioned a little bit ago? No. Just because these people are of, you know, this particular community doesn't mean that they just want to rush out there to New York City and go live over there. If you take a look at the numbers and the actual polls and the facts and all this stuff, a large number of even Democrats support the Florida legislation. Yeah, they won't tell you that in the media. Even people who are in the rainbow community support the legislation, but they get silenced, told to shush, shush, don't say anything about it. Don't talk about it. The ones that, you know what, and I don't agree with the, the, the choices of the way they live their life, but they agree that this shouldn't be put upon kids at such an early age. They live in Florida. You think they're going to go run off to New York? No. <laughs> so good luck on your billboard campaign there, uh, Mayor Eric Adams. The last thing that people in Florida want to see is your face and your message is on their billboards here in these five cities that I mentioned. But hey, if it gets these crazies out of there, then for those of you that live in Florida, I'm sure you'll be happy about that. Look, we're in the last days. Jesus Christ is coming back soon. We're going to see this sort of raging from these people continue as more states look to pass similar legislation. And a lot of them already have been discussing it. So we're going to see this in more states too. You're going to see this sort of a freak out because what it really does is it affects who? affects the devil, the enemy, Satan, because it is his agenda behind all of this. He is looking to undo what it is that God created. Remember, everything is always based off of a spiritual battle. It's always an attack against God and really in his foundation and his creation. That's how you have to look at this whole thing, this bigger picture. And as Christians, we're aware of this. We see what's happening. We need to be prepared for it. We need to call it out, but we also need to be prepared for the soon coming return of Jesus because he's on his way. This whole thing is getting ready to wrap up really soon. But if you have not yet received Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, well, I would love to lead you in a prayer right now to get you to do just that. Now, this is a prayer you can do in your own words, but I will give you the steps that you need to bring up before the Lord today. First thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge that you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. But let me tell you the good news. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Repent means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. But if you humbly go before the Lord and you ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away, 
Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. I will have more on this for you guys down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.